So in this video, we're going to take a look at a, two problems on titrations. Uh, before we look at the details of the problems, let's try and understand what exactly is a titration. Okay, so, <clears throat> so a titration basically is you have these are, titrations are done in labs where you have a conical flask. I'm just trying to draw a conical flask out here. And this conical flask has an unknown in it. Okay. This unknown is called analyte. That's what you're trying to determine. So basically, you're trying to determine the unknown concentration. Okay. So the concentration is unknown. And what we do is we attach something called a burette with a stopcock out here. And the burette has uh, a known substance in it. So you know the concentration and you know the volume. So the concentration is in molar and the volume is V. And then the unknown, you know V but you do not know the concentration, okay? And then typically, so you could have the unknown be, this could either be an acid or a base. If the unknown is an acid, then out here you are trying to neutralize it with a base. So it's, you're gonna have an acid-base neutralization reaction. If the acid is a base, then the unknown out here is going to be just opposite. So it's going to be, uh, sorry, then the, no, the, the known is going to be an acid. Now the known is always called whatever is coming in from the burette. I'll write that out here. Burette. Whatever is in the burette is known as the titrant. So in a titration, you're always going to have a titrant coming in from here and an analyte which is in the conical flask now typically when you run titrations we use a indicator that's going to uh, show us a color change at a point when the acid neutralizes the base or the base neutralizes the acid and at that point that point is called the neutralization point okay and if you're using an indicator then that point is called uh, the end point okay so you're looking for the end point. And the end point is the point at which the complete neutralization takes place. So the acid finishes up all the base, neutralizes all the base, or the base neutralizes all the acid. So now that we understand that, let's take a look at this uh, problem out here, which talks about a titration of a certain volume of H2SO4 solution. H2SO4 in this case is the acid, okay? I'll write that out here, acid. And it's we don't know the concentration. And then that titration takes place, so, you, so as the titrant, you have a KOH solution, which is the base. Okay, so the titrant is the base. The concentration is given to you, as well as the volume. And you're trying to reach the equivalence point. The equivalence point is essentially the same as the end point. So the end point, equivalence point, they mean the same thing. There are some minor distinctions, but the equivalence point, very technically, it means that the number, oh, basically it's right this way. It means the moles of acid, it's when the moles of acid equals the moles of base. So the moles of acid and the moles of base are equivalent, hence the equivalence point. All right, so once we understand that, now it's time to kind of solve the problem. So the first thing you want to do in these problems is write out the equation, the complete balanced equation, when you react these two. So we'll write out the acid H2SO4 plus KOH. That gives us H2O plus K2SO4. And 
let's go ahead and balance this. So to balance this, we'll see. We end up having, we have to put a 2KOH out here and then a 2H2O out here, and that balances the equation. Once we have it balanced, so let's take a look at what's happening with the base because we know what's going on with the base. So let's use these two numbers, the molarity and the volume. Let's write them down. Molarity is equal to 0 0.158, and the volume is equal to 22.87 milliliters. From this, we need to calculate the number of moles. That is going to be the molarity times the volume, which is 0 0.158 moles per liter times the volume uh, we have to change the ml into liters so that's going to be 0 0.02287 liters if we go ahead and calculate that we get 0 0.003613 moles now if you look at the stoichiometry of the reaction we can see that for every mole of H2SO4 that reacts, two moles of KOH are consumed. Therefore, we can use that to back into, so if we start with these number of moles of KOH, we can use the stoichiometry to back into the number of moles of H2SO4 that would be consumed. So let's go ahead and do that. So we know that 0 0.003613 moles of KOH is consumed, and then we're going to take this ratio and make that a conversion factor. So that's 1 H2SO4 over 2 KOH. And if we simplify that, we get 0 0.001806 moles H2SO4. So that's how much H2SO4 is consumed. Now we know the volume of the H2SO4 sample uh, solution. Okay. All you have to do is use the volume given to us and the moles that we just calculated and to try to figure out the concentration. So it turns out the concentration molarity is equal to the number of moles over the volume. So we'll put the 0 0.001806 moles H2SO4 over, over the volume. I'm going to erase this H2SO4. We don't need that to write that out there over the volume of the thing in liters. So that's going to be 0 0.0200 liters. And then if we calculate that, we get 0 0.0903 molar. And that is the concentration of H2SO4 in the unknown, the analyte. All right, let's do another problem. So out here in this problem, we have another uh, uh, we have another acid out here, and this time the acid is actually we know the concentration and the volume of the acid, and we're using a a base to titrate that acid. Uh, we know the concentration of the base and we just have to find out what's the volume of the base in milliliters, okay? So we're solving for V. So let's go ahead and write out the equation first, okay? So the, the neutralization equation for this acid-base reaction is NaOH plus HBr gives us H2O plus NaBr. And NaOH, the molarity is 0 0.200 molar volume is what we need to calculate for the hbr the molarity is 0 0.140 molar and the volume is 35.00 ml so let's use let's use this information to back into the moles number of moles is equal to m times v which is equal to 0 0.140 moles per liter times 0 0.03500 liters. And that is equal to 0 0.004900 moles. Now, if you look at the stoichiometry of the reaction, for every 
one mole of NaOH, one mole of HBr is consumed. Therefore, you can directly know that these many moles of HBr should correspond to these the same number of moles of NaOH in this reaction. So therefore, we can use that information to calculate the volume. So if we use the relationship M is equal to N over V, we can rearrange it to find V is equal to N over M. And N is 0 0.004 nine zero zero moles over molarity is zero point two zero zero molar which is which we can write as moles over liters and that gives us zero point zero two four five liters which we can change to milliliters by multiplying with a thousand, which will give us twenty four point five ML. I hope that made sense. Thank you for watching.